Hello everybody, this is Elias with EH Tech Support and today I wanted to do a quick video to show you how to run the Google App Store, Play Store um, on your Fire HD 8 tablet. This is a new tablet that I bought recently and um, when I first bought it I saw that there was no YouTube on it, there was just nothing connected with Google and I was very upset with that so I figured out a way to do it and it's really easy and I just wanted to show everybody because sometimes um, people get discouraged buying these tablets especially knowing that they can't really run uh, YouTube on it. So uh, before I do that, I want to show you that YouTube is uh, running here. It's actually working on here on the trending page. Um, so it's all, it's all there. Uh, if I want to see, if I want to search for anything, I mean, literally it's all there. This is the, the stuff that's trending. And you, know, you can go to your subscription and all that type of stuff. So it's really fun stuff. I also want to show you that there's also the Hangouts. As you can see, the Keep Notes are there. I install that. Um, the play music because I have playlists and also YouTube music. So I downloaded a few apps um, from the uh, Google Play Store onto my tablet. Um, but I wanted to show you how to do it for yourself so you can actually um, you're able to run it um, and actually run your programs. You know, your favorite programs. I, I would say don't install so many programs in there because Amazon does have their own programs there. You don't want to slow down the tablet. But if there are, if there are programs that you just can't live without, like YouTube, um, and you want to, you know, send videos to your TV like I do all the time. You definitely want to want to um, be able to do that. So it's actually pretty easy. Like I said, um, all you have to do is go to the um, App Store. In that, by App Store, I mean the Amazon App Store first. Um, once you go there, it's gonna open up and like normal. Um, you're gonna go in and you're gonna type in ES um, ES File Explorer, right? As you can see right there. There, I'm gonna show you so you can look for it. Um, on the list, it's, it should be available in the, in the App Store because I have it installed. It'll say that it's uh, that it's available, so it'll just say open. So you just hit open, and you're basically gonna download all these COM files. They are basically gonna run uh, on your um, Android tablet, so you're gonna have to send them from your from your computer. You're gonna download them from your computer and throw them in there. So it's very easy. You get just download them to your desktop. And plug in your um, tablet to your computer, to your actual desktop or laptop computer, and upload it and put the files in, in the data um, folder, and then make it so that basically you can get the files in there, which is very easy. Like I said, you want to literally just connect it and um, set it to um, to data, so that you can actually do a file transfer to it. So once you do that, you should be able to have access to those files, and then you want to be able to go. And execute them one by one. You want to open. You, you don't want to open them. You want to run them. You run them, and then that's it. Once you run them, and you can, you'll do a restart, and then you should be able to see the files. It's very simple, like I said, folks. All you have to do that, and you know, you can literally run all your programs that you have um, that you want to use that are not available um, at the Amazon App Store. Uh, signing off. This is Elias, and again. Make sure that you look at the link below. In the link below, there's going to be a folder that you can actually go to and download these files and then transfer them to your tablet. It's very simple, like I said. So signing off, this is Elias. Take care, everybody.